Now, I know so far we only got a small sample size because we just finished the week four game. So a lot is still to be determined. But from that small sample size, I do like where the Baltimore Ravens seem to be headed right now because they have made a drastic change uh, as opposed to last season. But this drastic change that they made is for the better. And that's what the offense. Shout out to Ken McCusick, uh, Film Study Ravens on Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it. He brought out this very, very interesting but great stat for the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, it says the Ravens have had 15 red zone possessions this season in chronological order. And here were the result of those 15 red zone possessions. The first one, interception. <laughs> that's, that's not so good. But let's continue. Then there was a touchdown. Then a touchdown. Then a touchdown. Then a field goal. Then a touchdown. Then a field goal. Then a touchdown. 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 So he said that's 91 points scored. Uh, and 80% of those were touchdowns. In 2022, league-wide, the touchdown percentage was 568 so that was the average of all 32 teams. But with the Ravens in red zone scoring, uh, especially touchdown percentage, they were 44.4. So right now, again, it's only been four games, but you got to start somewhere. And this is showing that, hey, there is a difference. Don't listen like don't listen to when people say, oh, it's the same Baltimore Ravens offense that it was the past couple of. Don't listen to that. Even when they struggle, don't listen to because. It's clearly different. You can see the difference. Yeah, sometimes the Ravens, they got their hiccups. Sometimes they got their little setbacks and whatnot. But again, we got to remember this offense is a work in progress. But it's nice to see that they're progressing in their work. Todd Munkin, I, I, I know we're, we're Ravens fans, so sometimes it can be a little bit fickle sometimes. Because at times it's like when, when Todd Munkin is struggling, you, you see all the comments, you say, oh, that's Todd Roman. Oh, that ain't nothing but Greg Munkin. Oh, is, is Greg Roman back in Baltimore? I don't think he ever left. But then when the offense is moving, people say, oh, yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go. And I get it. Well, you want to see this offense flourish and you want to see this offense going off. You, you want to see them score like a million points every single game. I get that. We all do. But something we still got to remember, too. We got to remember. It's a brand new offense and the starters like I can't even say the starters have played four games together because the starters they started week one playing together but then this guy went missing that guy went missing this guy's out he's out he's hurt he's gone. like so while the starters have they, they started playing in week one together but the starters haven't even fully played together because we got a mix and match and this guy here that guy, so it, it's always something new but that's the Baltimore Ravens way but this was very very nice to see uh, it's been very, very nice to see because we remember like times in the past when the Ravens would, they would move the ball, they'll move the ball. And then when it came to the red zone, they'd be like, what, really? What's going, what's happening? What, what, what is, what are y'all doing? Do y'all not want to score? What's happening? But now thus far through these first four games, we see in the Baltimore Ravens be like, look, if we made it down here this far, we got to the red zone. No, no, no. We leaving here with something. We, 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 ain't, we ain't just walking away with nothing. And again, to, to, to be at 80% touchdowns for red zone, that, that's great. That is great. That means four-fifths of the time that you, for, for every five times you get to the red zone, four of them are touchdowns. That is amazing, man. To me, at least. That, I think that's amazing. And then, of course, you, and you're still getting field goals, too. So you're coming away with points. It's not wasted trips. It's not garbage trips. It's not uh, you making a blank mission. No, you're coming away with points, and that's what you got to do. Now, we know that this Baltimore Ravens offense is not where we want it to be yet. It's not where they have not reached their heights. They have not, in the words of Lamar Jackson, they have not peaked yet. But... They continue making these steady improvements. They continue ascending and not descending. Then they're going to be in some really, really good shape.